Hey, what's going on guys? I want to do a uh, special beer review. Today we're looking at uh, Dogfish Head's Worldwide Stout. This is a uh, very infamous beer in the beer community, beer world. Um, Dogfish Head's 120 minute IPA is extremely well known, very sought after beer. This is also a very extremely uh, sought after beer, but maybe not quite as well known. Um, I was introduced to this one by reading uh, some beer stuff online. And a lot of people are saying that it, you know, it is a little bit less known than the 120. Uh, basically, the history behind this beer is Dogfish Head came out in 1995. And in 1999, during the winter, they decided that they wanted to make the world's strongest beer. They wanted to brew the strongest beer in the world. And it's kind of like a big milestone to reach. And they did that with this beer coming in at about 18% ABV. And they, hold, they held the title of the world's strongest beer for about four or five months. And then Sam Adams Millennium came out, which was 21% ABV. Sam Adams has a couple really unique, really, really rare beers. Um, like their Utopias, which is like $150 a bottle or something. It's crazy, but it's like a fancy kind of wine looking thing. But anyway, um, so this has a really rich history with the company. It was, it was the world's strongest beer for a couple months back in 1999. And basically, I think, I think why they made 120 minute is they had the record then they lost the record, so then they kind of try to do it again, but specifically with an IPA, and hence the 120 minute was born. But anyway, really interested in trying this one, so it's gonna be just as strong as the 120 minute IPA. I made the mistake of, the 120 was really smooth, and I was doing the review, and I drank it way too fast. I kind of sipped on it, I went, okay, yeah, and then I was trying to taste it, and I ended up guzzling it, and it was gone in like less than a minute. So that was a mistake. This one I'm going to sip on a long time, so basically you gotta crack this open, take a little sip, and let it kind of rest and, and really sip on them. I put on a movie with Christina. So we're gonna watch a movie and then when the movie's over, I should be done by uh, you know checking this out and I'll give you my opinions on it. But anyway, so here's the label. Same cap as 120 minute IPA. Kind of like a hazardous, you know, shark sign, I guess. Anyway, um, Dogfish Head Worldwide Stout, a very dark beer brewed with a ridiculous amount of barley. And there's really no other information on the bottle. Besides that, no little blurb, no uh, no message, no you know paragraph talking about how awesome it is, like lots of different beer. Just very straightforward. What's interesting about these, and I'm gonna, I actually forgot to say this in the 120-minute review, is that both this and the 120, they don't have any kind of warning on there. If you were in some kind of craft shop or something, and you happen to stumble across these, and you're looking to try new beers, but you didn't really know anything about them, you might be really surprised in, in getting it and going, holy crap, you know, this is not what I expected. So I would have liked to see a little bit more information specifically to the ABV. Not all beer has that information on the label, and these don't, neither one of them did. But anyway, I'm gonna crack this open. Uh, the born on date on this one is 125-2014. Okay, so this is a new bottle for 2014. I only have one of these, I might get another one to age, but I don't have any specific plans on that right now. So the smell, mm, smells really good. A lot of chocolatey notes. Uh, smells a little bit like, uh, smells like a nut brown ale, to be honest. Hmm, it smells very similar to um, uh, Sam Smith's uh, Nut Brown Ale. It smells really good. Deep, you know, chocolatey, malty smell. I'm going to pour this. Pretty black, pretty dark head on this. Not much of a head, but there's a high alcohol percentage, so you wouldn't expect too much of a head on there. Again, 18%. Super dark though. Very, very dark uh, beer. <sighs> smells a little bit different in the glass. I smell some uh, some more fruits and stuff out of the glass. Out of the bottle, it smelled like just chocolate and malt, like really good. Now it smells more, more like maybe like a barley wine or very similar to, mm, well, like a barley wine. <laughs> Anyway, cheers. Mmm. Wow. 
really unique. First of all, yeah, there's tons and tons of uh, alcohol. The flavor is definitely there. You feel the warmth. Not necessarily a bird though, extremely smooth. Especially for not being like a vintage bottling. <clears throat> mm. Super smooth, a lot of alcohol. Flavors, um, a little bit of chocolate. A little bit of like, believe it or not, oats. Thick, rich mouthfeel feel like coating the entire mouth, like almost like an oily feeling. It's really sticking around a lot. Like it's a really big, bold beer. You definitely feel the 18% in this one. I think even more so than the 120 minute. It tastes very similar to like a, a barley wine. I'm not getting any really specific like fruit flavors. Mostly Really, really dark chocolate, slight malt, and uh, well, that's about it right now. So, see, let me give that a little try. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so I'm going to sip on this. We're going to enjoy the video, and uh, I'll be back. When I'm all done, I'll let you know what I think of it. All right, guys. So I'm back. And I have some uh, some opinions on this this beer. Um, let's see, what can I say about this? First of all, let me notice the glass I'm drinking out of. It's like a, a porter glass. It's for stouts and porters, and it's actually a wine glass as well. But uh, when you're holding this, you know your hands are coming in contact with uh, the beer through the glass, which warms it up. And if you take a longer time drinking it, obviously being you know out in the room, it's going to become more room temperature. The darker the beer, generally speaking, the darker the beer is, the uh, cooler you want to uh, enjoy it, as opposed to like lighter beers and lagers and stuff like that, pilsners particularly, you want them really ice cold. But with these, the flavor actually came out a lot more as it warmed up. So the longer it was out, and the more the temperature kind of rose a little bit, it wasn't quite ice cold. I mean, because when I first started, it was, it was chilled, but it wasn't ice cold. But as it really became room temperature by the last sip, it was just, just room temperature, slightly above. Uh, the flavors did change quite a bit. It started off um, kind of chocolatey, kind of tasted like a, um, you know an oatmeal stout a little bit. But as time went on, uh, the majority of the flavor on this was uh, more, it drank more like a wine than it did a beer, uh, but a very alcoholic wine. The alcohol taste was very uh, present the entire time from beginning to end, but the flavors kind of ranged from deep fruits to um, you know some very dark chocolate stuff like that. Uh, it was really good. In comparing this directly with the uh, 120 minute IPA, I really do think that the 120 IPA, I enjoyed that one more for the overall play, uh, flavor profile. But this one was really good. It, again, just like that one I mentioned in that review, that it, it's, it's definitely worth trying. You know, it's an experience when you get into beer and, and different kinds of craft brewery stuff and, and micro brews. You know, you want to go and have a large array of different flavors and experiences. And this is certainly one that's a must try. So I do highly recommend trying this. Is it the best tasting beer ever? No. Um, you know, at $10 a bottle about, it's, uh, it's an expensive experience, but it's still one worth having. Um, I've had similar style beers that I think tasted better for less money. But that being said, it's worth trying. So Worldwide Stout, a very solid, very bold, strong beer. You feel the warmth from it and everything. But as far as the flavor profile, it's not that much different than some of the other uh, barley wines that are out there that's much more affordable and more widely available. So worth checking out. Best beer in the world? No, definitely not. Um, I do prefer the 120 minute over this as far as them directly compared to each other since they're both 18%. <clears throat> so anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.